Hello everybody, welcome back again. So today I would like to discuss about processing script and client script in UI pages. So let's go ahead from the left navigation. Uh, let's search UI pages and under this system UI application you will find this UI pages menu. Once you click that menu, it will redirect you to that page where you can see all the list of the records of UI pages that has been already created and if you want to create new you can click this new button okay friend to create a uh, UI page form is open so let's give a name that is Friend here, our first use case will be to create an incident record from UI page. For that, I am going to give a name that is demo create incident. Okay, and let's save it. Inside this jelly tag, I am going to use a tag that is GUI form because uh, once you click the submit button this processing script will be executed to perform a next operation by using a processing script you can take a value from the input fields that you have already created here and can save into database okay uh, likewise we have to do for that I am going to create a GUI underscore form G underscore UI underscore form okay. so friend our first input field will be a requester or you can say a caller okay. because this requester or caller is a reference field and that is referring to this user table we have to use g underscore ui underscore reference okay this is the tag out of the box available and here we have to use our uh, two attributes that is id and name because we have to take this value we have to take this uh id and name from here get the value and to store into database so id equal to question name will be the question okay and we have to select sys underscore user table sys underscore user and if you want to add query you can add using this attribute query and because I am using only one query so that, that is active true if you have a more query you can separate each query by semicolon inside this query attribute okay inside this code and after this input field I need one line break And our next input field will be uh, categories. For that, uh, before creating that input field, I am going to use this tag G evaluate because I I want to create arrays or list of categories. Okay, evaluate. categories so as we know we have this category inside incident record form inquiry software hardware And friend, you don't need to wonder that uh, how do I know that all this uh, category name? Ok, 
okay because before creating this tutorial i check incident record so let's create a input field for categories category uh, so by using select uh, input tag i can show as an option this category so select column for each okay i'm using this tag to iterate all this uh, value of this categories array so variable here j var score cat and items we are selecting from this uh, variable because we are using g evaluate not g to evaluate so we have to use this expression categories and option And friend, we have to convert all this value into small letter. So, because the actual value of these categories are in small letter or not in capital. So here, what we can do? J var score cat dot two lower case. If you have already known about function to lower case of javascript and you, we, here we can use directly so the option right here we don't need to convert it into lower case so j var underscore cat and uh, before creating next field let's save it and check how it is working Save it. I change by from edit some mistake. Okay, you can see the spelling R E F E R E N C. Okay, let's just leave it. Let's remove it. G colon UI underscore R E F E R E N C E K I D Quester name will be Quester table this user it and bi tag okay 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 bi tag you got the mistake right here we have used this forward slash uh, before this br that's why it was causing error we can do true okay it is saved let's open this into new tab 
try it great great see okay and default we should have a uh, non null value like this okay no none okay and after this i am going to create a two field but that will be depending that is assignment group and assignment group okay assignment group and assigned not assignment group and assignment group so our assignment group is also refers to some table that's why we have to use g underscore ui reference tag assignment group the table which it will refer that is this user group friend ui underscore reference id assignment underscore group and name you probably thinking that i am using assignment group that should be match with the incident record form field name but that is uh, not correct friend you can give any name inside this you can give esg underscore group okay and uh, here i am using this uh, like this because uh, for my convenience and table will be sys underscore user underscore group okay that's it and query uh, we don't need we can give query if you do but uh, just leave it or if the query okay and and another important thing friend uh, we have another attributes that is complete okay for the auto complete and if you want to learn more about uh, you can search from the google but to save our time x table completer okay so here completer h this okay basically it, it is for auto complete Okay. And next field will be sign two. Sign two. ID. name sign two okay friend but uh, this assign to field will be dependent to this assignment group field once we select any assignment group based on that selected assignment group users should be populated to this field okay uh, for that yesterday i was practicing how to make dependent uh, here i will show See, we have a group, we have a users field, okay. And here I am using one event that is on chain. If we change, if we change the group, this set user filter function will execute. Well, let's copy it from here. 
it's used here okay while this function will execute what will happen is close it as of now this function is not available uh, from demo ui page okay here you can see right I am taking the value from that group. Uh, okay, let me do here. We have this function uh, set user filter, right? User filter. Once this function will execute, it will take the value of from this assignment group field. So let es uh, known. We can't use es6 version JavaScript. So es assignment group g. Okay. Equal to gl. Basically, this jelly uh, gel function will use to get the value from the input field. Okay, from here. So inside we can we have to write the ID of that input field whatever we want to get. So in our case we have to get the value from the assignment group field. So here the ID will be assignment group. Okay. And dot value. Okay. Once we get the value, as a value, it will return the sys ID of the group. So, based on this, uh, based on that sys ID, we have to find all the members of that assignment group. So, users. Right, glide code query. GR equal to this user group. Not the sys user group group member from where to fetch from the sys user group member sys underscore user score gr mbr okay. because it is correct that's why it is uh, displaying in different uh, font gr dot if it would incorrect then it will not uh, show like this it, query okay and our filter will be a uh, group field the name is okay. group and asg okay gr dot query file gr dot Next, we have to push all the users inside this area. Users dot push. And friend, I I got this from the doc. Okay, earlier I was also don't. gr dot sys underscore id dot to string so here we are accessing the value from the assignment group and here uh, of using that uh, value that is sys id of a group we are querying as data from the sys user group member and basically we are storing 
user sys id into this array after saving that uh, i have to copy this line okay see we are uh, we are registering one event on user lookup basically this user lookup is uh, this field assigned to field okay so i have to for user look up equal to g to see here also that user records okay let's use this lookup dot assign to okay we have to register one event that is mouse position save because uh, once we click uh, this field uh, it's look up we have to save the position of the mouse click okay that's why they are doing like that here and this is the out of the box function i am also not understanding what it is doing here but uh, the last argument i am getting is that after storing all the users into this array we are filtering here see this id in user array basically here we have to change by users okay if you will find about this please uh, let me know so, okay your user records okay this user records is nothing but assign to field and this is a table we are referring and here we have added one query active true and the next query we are adding is that sys id in okay users so let's save it user filter and check if it will work okay uh, let's select one group uh, cab approval okay since it is not closing sign to click it is showing all the users should not so all the users uh, let me check what mistake we did so friend here you can see right instead of using user field of this group member i have used sys id and it is wrong because we have to store sys id of the user record not the record of group member sys id of the group member record so we have to change this uh, by user field okay and let's save it okay and try it again cab approval okay and let's check okay uh, based on selected assignment group it is populating users it is correct uh, okay and friend here i have created a button also you might have not seen i pause the video okay see i have used one division with class name button type submit type reset and let's see if it is working if i select here able tutor and hard to be something 
trying to anything okay and search descriptions uh, this text field also I have created input type text name search description ID search description okay should be text area but just leave it okay it is working and friend so friend let's a right processing script to save record okay for that we have to write a glide record here gr equal to new glide record and our table will be incident gr dot initialize gr dot set value color id okay and we are taking value from requester as you have already set the name here you can see requester we have already set it the name attribute requester so requester gr dot set value color id category dot set value assignment group assignment group gr dot set value assign to and gr dot set value sort description gr dot insert okay and after inserting this record we can show the message like g study info message gr dot number dot to string incident cordage created and friend uh, uh, before uh, running this uh, UI page I wanted to tell you something that this requester category assignment to assign to such description I am taking from this input field and as you know that we have already given name attribute to each input elements with some specific value like here assignment group requester short description okay so let's save it and Table tutor uh, category inquiry, okay, inquiry assignment group cab approval sign to okay search description demo UI page okay submit see incident record is created let's see in 
see here you can see able tutor categories inquiry cab approval assigned to and the short description so friend that's all for today thank you for watching